This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. More than 100 people braved cold and snow Friday to show their support for the Bengals at the banks. The pep rally featured Hall of Famer Anthony Munoz and Bengals legends Icky Woods and David Fulcher. We have lots of Bengals coverage for you this weekend. Our team in Kansas City is ready to bring you live coverage today and on game day. And as soon as the game ends Sunday evening, join us for comprehensive post game live on air wherever you stream WCPO 9 News. Investigators say a suspect is in custody after a trooper involved shooting in Kentucky. It happened during a traffic stop just after four Friday afternoon in Cynthiana. The trooper was shot at least twice. He was responsive as he was taken to the hospital. A school district in Butler County was put on lockdown yesterday due to threats. Investigators say a secretary at New Miami received emails saying someone would be coming to the schools and start shooting. All of them were put on level three lockdown as a result. Deputies stayed at the schools as students finished out their day. The emails are under investigation. The Ohio Department of Health is planning to deliver 175,000 rapid COVID-19 test kits to people across the state. In a partnership with the Rockefeller Foundation, tests will go to underserved communities via home delivery. To see if you're eligible, go to accesscovidtest.org and enter your zip code to get started. Raven. All right, so cold temperatures for today, really for the rest of the day. We're not going to make it above freezing as we get closer to about noon, looking at 20 degrees, climbing on up after that about mid 20s, uh, looking at 4 p.m. And then highs for today will make it into those low to mid to upper 20s for us. Still on the cold side, we're staying dry for the next couple of days. Next chance of rain not coming to the middle of the week.